Hey guys, I'm just down here uh, watering the nursery. And, uh, you know, I get a lot of emails on a regular basis from guys that want to buy palm trees. And I just had a, a recent email, uh, when was it, yesterday? I think it was last night, from uh, some uh, customer, well, a palm grower in the States. And he wanted to know if I uh, would ship uh, potted palms to him in the States. Uh, unfortunately, since the uh, pandemic bullshit began, um, they've been actually nabbing a lot of my palms at uh, customs, uh, U.S. Customs, uh, intercepting them, and those are just the bare root ones. So, uh, unfortunately, there's no hope in hell that I can ever ship uh, potted palms uh, to the States. It's happened now at least six or eight times I've had my palm trees, seedlings, confiscated. I have shipped bigger ones in the past uh, to Texas, and they did get nabbed at customs. And you know what they do when they nab the palm trees? They, uh, they destroy them by uh, incineration. So uh, the answer to your question, uh, I will not, I cannot ship palm trees or seeds or um, seedlings, bare root seedlings to the U.S. now because of the, uh, well, like I say, things have gotten a lot stickier, stickier since that uh, pandemic began for some weird reason. Um, a lot of my best customers were actually in the U.S. I shipped most, the perc highest percentage of palm seedlings I shipped and seed would go to the U.S. But uh, now I just have to uh, ship it in Canada. I just finished refunding a guy in New Jersey because uh, he said his seedlings did not arrive. And that's a drag because when somebody uh, buys my seedlings on eBay, I ship them out right away. I got good ratings. You can check out my ratings on eBay. I've been uh, selling on eBay a long time. So it is upsetting because uh, I lost out. So he gets a refund and then I, uh, I actually lose out because I still have to get everything packaged and ship them out there. So. Unfortunately, uh, no more shipping to the U.S. If you guys want palm trees and you are visiting the Gulf Islands, uh, look me up and uh, message me first before you come out because uh, this is just more of a hobby of mine. I've been going uh, palm trees for a long time. And uh, if you want one of our locally grown palms, um, we have them. We have them year-round. These stay outside year-round. They're tough as nails. Truckee Carpets Fortuni. Uh, there's some hybrids and stuff in here too. So. But uh, anyway, thanks for uh, uh, supporting my palms, uh, the ones that I've shipped to you guys. But uh, that's, that's the end of it. It's all within Canada now, just because um, customs is getting a little crazy. And I'd hate to, I hate the thought of palm trees getting incinerated. That really sucks. So there you go. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, stay tuned for more videos here. It is a really warm day out here. It's 92 degrees Fahrenheit. That's for my American friends in the shade, 92F in the shade, so non-stop watering. I worked early this morning, did a job for somebody, man, and it was baking on a south slope, so thank God this nursery is in dappled light, and uh, I water this every two days. They're doing very well. All the palm seedlings are doing very well, and the palm trees, but, uh, you know, make a point of visiting us on the southern Gulf Islands, and maybe you can sneak a palm across. There's no phytosanitary certificate available here on Salt Spring. You need uh, those plant inspection agencies, that's the nearest ones in Victoria. And I'd have to take a ferry over there. It's very expensive and it's just, I don't have the time for it. So, all right guys, thank you and uh, stay tuned for more vids on Banana JSSI. Cheers and happy palm growing.